All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the High School Star League League of Lenter League of Legends Winter Championship Winter Championship Semifinals. And I uh, hope I can get through the rest of this. This is Jackson High School versus Irvington High School here. My name is Kasady King. Gonna be casting for you guys today, and hopefully, it should be some fun semifinals as we come into this. And uh, okay, there you go. So. Looking over at, we are into the picks and bands as my mic hopefully doesn't drop here. Okay, we are into the picks and bands, and uh, so far we're seeing Evelyn, Annie, and Kasten and Bando, as well as Elise, Leeson, and Nasus. And apparently my mic is messed up. Oh, my mic is messed up. Okay, let me switch mics out really quickly, and then I can switch it back later. Sorry about this, folks. Um. Oh, no, okay, it's fine. Okay, sorry about that. Just sort of getting into things here. Anyways, you are very fun to pick some bands now. So, Evelyn, Annie, and Kasten and Bandel so far by Jackson High School over on the blue side. Irvington High School taking out Elise Leeson and Nassus from play. Uh, pickups coming into here so far. Jackson High School picking out Riven, Jinx, Thresh, and Brand. And we'll be seeing Irvington High School pick up Vi... Uh, Lulu, Ezreal, and Yasuo. So we're gonna be seeing Yasuo. This will be my first time seeing him actually played. That is it, Yasuo or Yasuo? I'm not sure. Anyways, it'll be my first time seeing him played. So this will be a er, er, casting game seeing him played in a tournament sense. Uh, at least haven't seen him played too much. Uh, mostly just because he's kind of banned out from most tournaments so far. Just just because he's a recent release. Last pick for Jackson High School is going to be the Olaf. So. And very interesting team coming out for them. So this will be either Riven Jungle or an Olaf Jungle. And obviously one of them is going to go top. We're going to be seeing a brand in the middle lane. And most likely going up against the Yasuo. Yasuo? So this will be very interesting. Uh, quite a few chains we haven't seen before. Hovering over a Malphite as well as something. Uh, haven't seen too much in a while. But they have a Jinx. A Lulu and a Malphite, which makes for a really great dive combination that uh, could come out of the side of Irvington High School. So, this will be very interesting. We're actually seeing uh, Jackson High School play a little bit more standard for once. Uh, in the quarterfinals match, they actually went some uh, pretty not, not meta things, not standard things. They went like Alistar somewhere. I think it was like Alistar top and like Skarner in the jungle. And, they had some really ridiculous stuff coming up, but this time it looks a little bit more standard here as uh, we get into the we get all the last picks down. So this will be a very interesting matchup between these two teams. Semifinals winners, this of course moves on to the finals of the winter championship. And uh, both very strong teams. Uh, for both these guys. I think pretty much all these guys are diamond and whatnot, so we'll have to see how this goes down. So looks like Shorter Race is going for the Olaf jungle. And then, of course, the Riven up top lane. Riven versus Malphite might be a little difficult for Riven. Uh, Malphite, of course, can just build pure tank and go pure defense. And, of course, Riven is a ridiculously strong champion. So, this will be a very interesting matchup. And, yeah, it looks like Shorter is with the Olaf jungle. So, this will be a very interesting match overall, guys. Uh, since we're on to the uh, spectator delay, we will be going ahead and playing a commercial break. But before that, let's give a shout out to our sponsors Twitch, Jinx, Battlefy, of course, Riot for providing prizes and whatnot, as well as Gunners, all those guys providing prizes. Battlefy, of course, providing us in a place to like host our tournament brackets and whatnot. You can check this all out at our website, lol.hsrleague.com. For more information on that, and guys, we'll be right back with you. With the semifinals match between Irvington High School and Jackson High School in the High School Star League, Star League League of Legends Winter Championship. Be right back.
All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the High School Star League League of Legends Winter Championship Semifinals. We're here with the first game between Jackson Jackson High School and Irvington High School. So it should be an exciting one here. My name is Cassidy. I'm going to be solo casting for you guys today. And I'm um, looking over just at the starting positions of the teams here. Not thing too out of the ordinary except possibly there's a little bit of late invade that could come out of uh suckfish blowfish and shorter acer hanging around this bottom lane uh bush right now possibly looking for a late invade into the jungle we'll have to see if they actually follow through with that because the uh, can mean some bad things a late invade is definitely something that people don't expect too often but they make the move a little bit early just right before the minion spawn. So not too sure what they were looking for there because uh, probably won't find anything. They just throw a ward down. That might just be it. Or they'll be sticking around for more. All right. So I'll have to wait a little bit to see how this one goes. And it looks like uh, we're actually going to be seeing Riven, Mid, and Brand going up top lane. And similarly, we're seeing Olaf actually heading over to middle lane. So a slight bit of lane swaps. Uh, I wasn't... Expecting this too much, I thought we are going to be seeing Riven and Malphite up top lane. We'll be seeing them duel it out in the middle lane. Brand and Yasuo up top here. Looks like Shorter Ace is able to steal away the blue buff. It was warded out, however, Irvington High School unable to do anything about that. So blue buff steal coming out early in the game. And it looks like they might just go ahead and rotate or just switch out the buffs that they will be taking. Just trading blue buffs just a little bit here and uh, both jungles will have the blue and red buffs to start out the game. So, we are into the laning phase. Looking over at starting items, of course, we're seeing a lot of Dorn's items coming off. Dorn's shield actually coming off for luck look here on Lulu, which is a little bit of an interesting start. Won't be having some nice early gold generation in the form of Ancient Coin, which uh, Suckfish has actually picked up. So, won't be seeing that come out. It might be a little bit difficult for him to get into, you know, just the early gold, but maybe if they're able to get kills and assists and whatnot, that will work out. But he will have some nice defensive stats early on, of course. It's just a nice item to have there doing shield, just to have it. And actually, middle lane, we're seeing Ryolu really chaining it out with lots here. Lots X taking quite a bit of damage, and he will be having some assists potentially from his jungler. Vi is actually standing in the, uh, off to the side, possibly going for gank here. And here he comes. However, it looks like... The slow will be coming down. Nice stun onto two though from Iolu. And looks like he should be able to get away from this one. He's actually giving slow down more. The flashing and Knight is put down. Short Ace will be coming over the side. Flashing by Monkey. Iolu will be able to live with barely any health of his Short Ace now. Wants to engage onto this. Going for Monkey. Can he get the first blood? He does pick it up. Iolu re-engages. He is so low. The last trying to get the tower dive is unable to find it. Ryolu picks up the kill. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Blowfish goes down to Arcus and Luck Luck here. And it's going to be two for one in the early game. To start this one up. And wow, it started off explosively as Toplin is well. We're seeing damage being thrown down. Both Toplin is getting fairly low from it. However, in the middle lane, was a very interesting engage. We saw just, you know, the mobility from Riven being so strong there. And that's kind of why Riven is one of the top picks, uh, you know, in recent times. So... Saw that coming through, he actually went for the re-engage on very low health and was able to get an assist out of it and able to get away oh, as well as getting a kill for herself or himself there. So really well done so far by uh, Ryolu as well as Shorter Ace. Able to pick up the first two kills for the team. Jackson High School against Irvington High School. Of course, we did see the bottom lane kill going down. Not to sure what happened there. We were just watching middle lane before the uh, kill did go down. So what we saw there though. Was Arcus picking up his own kill and will result in him picking up a Vampiric Scepter. And DT Blowfish hasn't been able to pick one up obviously yet himself. Only has a long to sit on. So, so far the bottom lane for Irvington High School is looking good. However, in this middle lane as well as in the jungle, Jack in High School has been able to find an advantage. So, probably we'll be seeing Shorter is having a little bit more impact on this game. That's already a really nice starting gank to, you know, possibly just start out a whole bunch more whole bunch more. A whole lot more ganks coming out, so we'll, have, we'll be having to see uh, where he decides to go next. Looking over at early CS, we're seeing uh, pretty much even up in this top lane as we're actually seeing KT Ducky push it up a little bit. 
Looking over it in the middle lane, we are seeing Riven take a slight advantage as well as bottom lane. Um, Arcus has taken the Arcus has taken advantage over DT Blowfish here, so that's just you know what we're seeing so far. It's not too surprising as uh, has, as we've seen the kills gone. Of course, CS goes in the favor of the killers, and actually the Arcane just still lands on with, uh, through the death sentence. The death sentence still lands with the Arcane shift, and able to put a lot of damage into Arcus there. DT Blowfish able to put that one out, and that's just kind of the strength of a Thresh and Jinx lane. You have a lot of CC that comes out of those guys, especially just with the Thresh Descendants and the Flay combined with the uh, the Traps Mines that uh, uh, Jinx has. So, really useful right there to put out that CC and a uh, Flame Chomper is really able to take down Arcus pretty low. However, he does have Health Potions and a Vampire Scepter to start going ahead. Uh, to start going ahead and. What is it? Second going ahead and regenerating, sustaining himself back into this land. He's already pretty much gotten himself almost back to full health, so he'll be fine after that. But that's just kind of the scary burst that can come out of the dual lane for Jackson High School. So, so far, 1,000 gold lead in favor of Jackson High School. And actually, top lane, we're seeing a lot of training going down. Asian has to potato to find a kill onto KT Ducky, but Shorter Race isn't happy about this one. Gonna be throwing out the Undertow here. Is it will land the slow? Should be able to find the kill. Picks it up. 3 to 2 now in favor of Jackson High School as the kill trade comes out in the top lane. And that was just Yasuo really able to take down the health of Brand right there. Brand a little bit more of a squishy champion, and because of this, he's actually gone for the Triple Dorn's Blades build. He had the Ruby Sight uh, Crystal, but uh, switches out for the Amplifying Tome, decides to go for a little bit more damage, but Triple Doran doing just to kind of start off his early game. Obviously, he hasn't been having too much fun in that top lane. Middle lane, though, is a different story. Rayuli going out into lots of X here, has the Broken Wings going out, picks up the kill. Very clean kill coming out for him there as lots X goes down. 42 now in favor of Jackson High School. And just 2 0 1 on Riven, 2 0 1 as well on Olaf. And those two champions should be able to snowball it for Jackson High School if they're able to pick it up. However, Yasuo, of course, is a very scary champion, as well as just having your bottom lane do well can really help out your team. So, Irvington High School still have some sort of advantage that they can pull out. Of course, they do have the superior bottom lane. If they're able to get a double kill down bottom, they can swift, uh, switch over to Dragon, pick up that objective, or they can just push out the bottom lane tower. And, uh, you know, just pick up some nice global gold, which will help out their lanes, but we'll have to see how this one plays out. We are seeing them, uh, the bottom lane of Remington hold a very nice, and actually hold on, uh, top lane, Asian SG Potato, and KT Ducky gonna trade it out, of course. Yeah, so really able to find some damage on the KT Ducky, has such a great gap close, and Brand has pretty much no mobility, so this having a lot of difficulty. Bottom lane, Lantigate coming in, Boss gets on luck. Luck, luck, flashes out of it though. Shorter is trying to catch up. Hits the Undertow onto Arcus. Has the rub up as well to get the slow down. Play backwards. There's a flash away. There is going to be the zap landing. They're going under the tower for this one. Arcus turns around. Is able to pick up the kill with the tower and the two shot barrage. Barrier is saving his life there. He's able to live. Meanwhile, middle lane. We're going to be seeing Monkey coming in for an attempt at gate. Can he get the gap closes down? Looks like no, they will not be able to. That bottom lane gank going. Absolutely in favor of Irvington High School. Not going well for Jackson High School at all. The flash by Luck Luck out of the box right when the box came down. He was able to escape from and that just allowed him to live. And then they switch focus all over to um actually hold on. Lots X is actually trying to it, trying to duel it out with Ryola is actually Monkey X D X X D. I've got names for a second. DX is able to steal away the blue buff. However, shorter race. KT Duck and Ryulu not too happy about this one. Flash away from Monkey DX and looks like they want to go back in. Stunned onto two. With the CC piles in. That's a power class and coming out. Monkey goes over the wall. Ryulu goes down to lots. And now KT gets a flash away from Monkey. And we will be seeing Ryulu going down. It's 4 to 4. Irvington High School swings it back to a tied game here in terms of kills. In those recent trades, and they really used their uh, champions to their advantage, the champions' abilities to their advantage. Their Arcus down bottom lane. I want to go back to this uh, this bottom lane attempted gain coming out of Jackson. Um, Arcus being level six was able to turn it around with the two shot barrage combined with the tower shots that were focusing in onto Blowfish. They were, he was able to pick up a kill for himself. And with this now, they're pushing it onto this bottom lane. He's picked up a BF sword. 
And that was just... Oh, man. So, and that is really just put him in the lead for his bottom lane. Meanwhile, up in that fight, up to top lane, Yasuo was able to have a huge impact on the fight, as well as lots of X as a, as a monkey, with a lot of CC coming off from them. They were able to burst down uh, Ryolu and pick him off. So, so far, it's uh, becoming a bit of an even game here between these two teams. Ten minutes in, goal lead is almost equal, as well as kills being exactly equal. No huge objectives taken just yet, so I'll have to see... Uh, that can swing the uh, tides in th in this game towards one team or the other here. So buys, uh, item buys coming out so far. We're seeing <laughs> KT Ducky really likes to buy a bit of these smaller items in bulk. Here. Three Dorn's rings as well as two fairy trends also picks up the fiendish codex. We're seeing Spirit of the Ancient Golem coming out here for short erase. And of course, it's a very important jungle. I'm actually trading in the middle lane once again. Mariola has picked up the brutalizer to shred the armor that lost. X has him stacking up Seeker's Arm Guard, Dorn's Shield, and Cloth Armor. So he's really going for some heavy defense on that Malfoy, which of course he really does need against a Riven in the middle who is starting to who is building just pretty much pure damage. And it's actually an interesting point to pick up here because Brand obviously is gonna be building pure damage. Riven is building pure damage right now. Olaf right now is going to be the only tank. And actually, hold on, Ryolu is actually up top lane, training with Asian SG Potato here. However, Monkey comes in and helps him pick up the kill. And now this is bad timing for the chase. Bottom lane, Gink coming in here from Shoot Ace as well. Trying to go for Luck Luck here. They should be able to pick him up, even through the Wild Girl. There is the Super Mega Death Rocket to pick up the kill. 5-5 five to five as Ginks come out across the map and result both in kills for Jackson as well as Irvington High School, so... I'm seeing a 5-5, five, five, but oh no, Lotzex comes around, gets the Unstoppable Force onto 2, DT Blowfish going low, but he lives through the lantern by Suckfish here, and now Shorter Rates comes in from the side with the Ragnar going for Arcus, finds the kill, is now on a killing spree, 3-0 and 2, now he's chasing after Lots X here. I don't think you can really pick up this kill, Lots X a little bit too tanky, and that was a great pick up there. By Suckfish with the lantern not for Blowfish to get in there, as well as Shorter Rays responding to that bottom lane gank coming in there, finding the kill onto Arcus and six to five now in favor of Jackson High School. No man, looks like top lane Raiolo is training out with Asian SG Potato here. He flashes away, but Raiolo is still on the chase. Flashes in for the stun. Wind slash goes, comes out. Raiolo picks up the kill. The kill on and a nice Arcus. fight coming it's out there, and it was a really smart Jackson choice of them to just trade Riven back up to top lane where she can really just oh, man, melt like down lane, Asian SG Potato, who is Yasuo building pure, pure damage. Ryo Starting off with the static shit, not even building damage, just building attack speed and crit chance. And we're seeing the fact that Lots X has just picked up pure armor, they move Brand into the lane with him. Brand can really do the damage, however, they do switch Malfoy back at the top lane, but You'll be seeing them switch Brand right back up to that top lane. They really want to keep uh, that one going. Going to keep the lane for itself from Irvington High School. And actually, bottling Justin some lands. It could be another lantern game coming in here. Walgoth comes out from Luck Luck. Zab lands onto Arcus. Shorter is trying to close some distance. However, Muggy DX going in onto KT Ducky. He gets absolutely melted and taken out. Royolo is up as well. An Asian SG Potato finds himself a kill as well as Monkey DX. And that was just the pain of heavy CC coming out of the side of Remington High School to pick up a two kills for them. And once again, this game has gone to a tight game 14 minutes in. And that was just... Well... Test.
Okay, apparently audio is fine. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Just uh, trying to sort things out because it can be a little bit difficult to get the stream running. Anyways, coming back into the game. Bloodthirst is coming out for both of the 80s, 80 Ks here, but I was saying 7-7 seven and seven is the score. Gold lead is pretty much meaningless right now as it is so close for both these teams. 16 minutes in here, no towers, no dragons have been picked up yet, and both these teams are relying solely on kills. Lots of X though, getting the knock of Yasuo coming in here as well, looking for some kills. Lots of X looks like he should be able to live, and possibly not burn damage going down, Monkey DX. Is trying to come in here as well. Lotex goes down to the burn damage of KT Ducky. He finds himself the first kill of the game for himself. And now we're seeing a three man push onto this middle lane from the side of Jackson High School off of the back of that kill. Three members of Remington trying to defend it. Ryulu going down, gets taken out. Monkey DX picks up the kill. Yasuo now going in. SG Potato picking it up here, going for the double kill. It's actually picked up by Monkey DX. And that middle lane push did not go well at all for Jackson High School. However, bottom lane might be a different story. It's only Argus VD trying to defend against Suckfish and Blowfish here. And they will be able to pick up the tower. So first tower of the game coming in here for Suck and Blowfish. And now they might be able to find the Arcus VD trying to make his way over to the Dragon, but they'll be coming face to face with a lot of members of Remington High School. They probably want to disengage it very quickly out of this one. Super Mega Death Rocket finds a kill for Slugfish as Luck Luck goes down, as well as Blowfish going down himself there. So 9 to 11 is the score. However, Dragon has just gone into the favor of Irvington High School, so they will finally find themselves in the bit of a gold here, 1,000 gold ahead of Jackson High School. And looking good for themselves right now. Finding those kills in the middle lane, starting off the series and this game very strong here. And the heavy CC here has been working out pretty well for them. You know, they have quite a few knockups, so obviously that goes very well with Yasuo's ultimate uh, last breath there, so... They've been able to utilize that very well as they've been grouping up, looking for the fights. And actually, Shredder is pops the ghost. He's going on to Lotex. Ryulu coming in here as well. And actually, we're seeing KT Ducky coming in from behind. Picks up the kill onto Lotex with the Pyroclasm. And that was just a fast gank by the mobility gang of Olaf and a Riven. And now we'll be seeing middle lane tower goes down as top tower falls to Asian SG Potato. So tower is starting to fall here. 18 minutes in, a little bit late for... Uh, We've seen some tire pushes, but of course with the 3.14 patch, you are seeing a bit of longer games here. And they're definitely seeing that in this game. As the, two, as the two teams have started taking objectives pretty late here. Asian SG Potato and Monkey DX and you're hovering around middle lane. 2-1 to one in terms of towers in favor of Jackson High School. They've closed up the gold lead from 1,000 to just about 200 in favor of Irvington High School. So they've definitely done well in that sense. It's actually Monkey DX, he wants to dive in. Yasuo coming in as well, and KT Ducky goes down so quickly. Shorter race now next on the chopping block. He's exhausted, he goes down. Monkey DX with the kill. That was just a great response there. From a little duel between Monkey DX and Shorter Race, they're able to pick up two kills for themselves. Using that combo there, now they'll be pushing down middle lane, and this game just keeps going back and forth in terms of gold. As we're seeing middle lane now, a heavy push in here. Four members of Irvington High School should be enough to pick up this middle lane tower. Now they're ahead by 3,000, a little bit less than 3,000 gold, so... Not looking good for Jackson High School, which uh, went undefeated in the normal season. Finding themselves against a very worthy opponent of Irvington High School here. Of course, they are using, I think, the secondary sub. Their main top laner is actually not present for this game. Their uh, usual sub as well uh, wasn't able to play in this. So they had to use uh, the backup backup sub, I suppose I could call him. But didn't, I guess, I guess didn't impact it too much here because most of just the game overall, and it was just Irvington High School really playing well as a team here that has put them in this lead. They roamed around very well, especially using, you know, the Yasuo last, uh, last breath that he can use, uh, combined with all the knockup CCs coming out of their team composition here. To pick up a lot of these kills around the map, and they started their roaming phase here at 20 minutes in. 
And they have been able to take the towers to score to 2 and 2. Now they're looking for this bottom lane tower, last hour tower for them to take out. Because they'll be setting all five members of their team down here, actually. Suck for shorter race, hiding in the brush here. Looking for something where they can slow down. And actually, the Intel Force to re engage, and Suckfish getting destroyed here in the center of it. Goes down the Asian SG Potato, and under the tower they're going. Blowfish goes down as well. Double kill coming out there for Asian SG Potato. Five kills in favor of Irvington as Ryola wants to go, and he's going in onto five though. It's probably not the best situation for him. He goes down. Asian SG Potato finds a triple kill, delayed triple kill. Argus BD finds one for himself as the bottom outer tower falls. And now I'll be seeing Irvington going in here for the uh, push onto this tower. Yeah, Irvington saves blue team on the stream, and that's just a bit of an error by the broadcaster here. Irvington is actually on the red side, and Jackson High School over on the blue side. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, just, you know, take a Sharpie and write on your screen which, which teams they are. Don't worry about it. Anyways. <laughs> Seven kills now in favor of Irvington High School. And they have just taken a really great lead coming in 20 minutes in. Gold lead is about the highest it has gone for their team here. And they have started to pick up the huge items. Zane is outglass picked up by Lots X. Trinity Force up and coming for Arcus VD off of the back of a Bloodthirster. We're seeing, uh, who is it? Asian SG Potato. Has gone for the Infinity Edge as well as the as well as the Static Shift, and he'll be doing a lot of damage. I think he's hit the 100% crit chance now, using his passive. He might have. How do I press C? He's at 90% crit chance, so he's almost there. He's almost there. He'll he'll get there. I think 90% crit chance is enough, though. I think the next you know the next small item he picks up will probably be enough to uh, get to that 100% crit chance mark. And yeah, so passive, man. Really strong there, just in terms of putting out damage. He's utilizing, getting an infinity edge, of course. Get some extra damage on his critical attack, so... Dragon's respawning just about now. Irvington High School is looking to pick it up. However, Jackson High School are uh, looking to possibly push out onto his middle lane. And... What we're seeing right now is really great ward coverage coming out of Remington High School. As they have put up wards all around this dragon area, they even have a pink ward out there. And they'll be stunning up on this dragon, which should go into their favor. Just with the pass, how they've done, they do pick it up. Ghost coming out of shorter race, unable to get in there quick enough to look for a smite steal or anything of that sort. So unable to find it as Harrington High School will go ahead and move back over to this middle lane looking for a push after they have the dragon they have just picked up. And so far really looking strong here and they've done a really good job just coming together as the team roaming around utilizing you know, the, the champion mechanics and how they can focus on their champion synergy and their team synergy. And they've really been able to get all these objectives which has worked out very well for them 5,000 gold in the lead here as Jackson High School will want to return the favor here looking over at this middle lane to see if they can possibly go for a tower push for this uh, middle inner tower of course Arcus and Asian SG Potato are in the top and bottom lanes Asian SG Potato actually moving over to middle lane now and uh, Jackson High School has to be very careful how they approach the next team fight the, just the knockups, just the CC that comes out of Remington High School is pretty much enough to win them a team fight. Just having that amount, high amount of CC. Just combined with the fact that Yasuo's ultimate is able to utilize those knockups. Just increases Remington's uh, team fight potential so much higher. And now they're going to be pushing it onto this middle lane here. And Jackson High School, they can't... It's really difficult for them if they want to play the team fight game at this point, just because of how well Irvington worked together here at Subtle Forest under the tower. Wild growth as well. This is just the murder under in between the towers here. Shut down though, actually. Onto Asian SG Potato. Ducky has gone down. Oh no, wait. Yeah, Ducky has gone down. Luck Luck going down as well. Actually, three members of Irvington have just gone down. KT Ducky was just went down as well for Jackson. There's a 1 for 3 favor in favor of Jackson High School. They're under that tower. 
A little bit too much of a rush, I think, actually, coming out of Remington High School, because this will be Jackson High School pushing it onto the middle lane here. As they shove up this middle inner tower off of a very nice team fight for themselves. And they will be able to pick it up, so tower score 4-4. Four to four. And Jackson High School see a light at the end of the tunnel that they can hope for right now because uh, they have just been able to find themselves a team fight win as well as a tower. Getting this goalie a little bit closer together now, and they'll be able to go back by a few items here. And so far, we're seeing Brand hasn't been able to buy too much, and which is really unfortunate because he's a huge burst AP carry. If he has the items for it, he does have the looks like Rally's Crystal Scepter possibly going out for him, so he's going for a little bit more utility. Of course, his team needs a little bit more CC, I think, uh, you know, just compared to what the Hermitian is able to produce. So, Ryalize Crystal Scepter, there it is. Mikhail's Crucible, of course, coming out of Suckfish here. Really wants to put that down in his AD carry, or anybody, really, who gets CC'd a bunch in a team fight. Uh, that's a very useful item that could be coming out there. Because Riven picks up the Blood Thirster, Brutalizer still sitting on that one. He also has the Chain Vest for a little bit more defense. And we're seeing all five members of Irvington High School sitting around this bottom side of Jackson High, Jackson High School's jungle. We'll see what they can do with this one. So, possibly looking for another mid lane push. They'll probably want to be a little bit more CG this time. Uh, the last huge tower dive didn't work out too well. I don't think they'd want to uh, recreate that. Uh, fight right there, so they'll just go ahead and back up a little bit, try to find you know, a little bit more gold around the map, take out some jungle creeps, take out lane creeps, you know, get the other lanes pushing. When you get the other lanes pushing, it just has a lot more pressure on the top and bot lanes. They can push in onto middle, and it'll be up to a Jackson High School to go to a lane, clear it out really quick, and they have to run back over to middle lane to help defend the mid tower, but... They have to really build that. They have to really build that situation up right now. And so far, just be seeing a standstill between these two teams as they're uh, looking for some better positioning in these fights. Dragons up in a minute thirty. Baron's always an option, of course. Twenty-eight minutes in, we'll probably go for it. Actually, the last whisper just comes you know, from Asian SG Potato. So he's looking out to shred down the armor that's been uh, built up here. We've been seeing. Ryolu as well as Shorter is building quite a bit of armor, and of course, uh, they do kind of need it. Against the mostly AD team of uh, mostly AD team of Irvington High School here, so Iron Tan is gonna go to, going to go ahead and clear out a little bit more around the map, looking for a push potentially onto this middle lane. He might just go for Dragon, which is spawning within the minute. So this game has slowed down 20 minutes in. Probably one of the closer games I've seen coming out of Jackson High School is uh, what I've seen from them before is that they're able to win pretty dominantly in these past matches. Uh, hasn't too much Remington High School, so very interesting to see these two teams coming up. Of course, this is the first match of today. We have another best of three coming up at 4 p.m. PST, and that's Cerritos High School versus somebody. Hold on. Cerritos High School versus uh, Mira Mesa High School A. One of the many Mira Mesa teams, but the only one to make it into the semifinals. And uh, Cerritos High School was able to win the quarterfinals match pretty convincingly. Both games within like 20, 20, 30 minutes here. So that will be a very interesting match to see. However, looking back, Irvington Jackson High School. Irvington able to pick mm. up the dragon for themselves once again. That's like the third dragon of the game for themselves. Top lane is actually has a pretty significant minion weight that they probably want to clear up before going for their next objective here. Irvington High School has really put up a fight, and uh, this kind of team change is probably what they need to make it over to the finals here. Of course, this is a best of three, so this is this is just the first game in a potential three, and we're seeing now Jackson High School looking for a push. Asian SG Potato was just moved up to top lane to try to clear out the, or to just go ahead and clear out the main wave. He doesn't even have to try for that one. He's the asshole. Jinx will be regrouping with Jackson High School here as they really push on for his middle lane. They don't have to be scared. They're fighting an open field. They don't have a tire to help them out or anything. So they, they, if they have the Wombo combo coming out of Remington High School, it'll be a very dangerous uh, situation for them as Remington High School probably would be able to find if I win in that. So. 
Well, they'll just go ahead and sit around a little bit long, and looks like they want to back off. 30 minutes in, and his game has really slowed down from the starting 20 minutes that we saw. We've seen the double. Oh, actually, Asian Potato gets CC down. He's able to flash out Schroeder Race and Raiola, though, going right into the back for him. There's the Power Cloud becoming a box thrown down. KT Dunk, he finds to go to the Asian Ashley Potato. There is Lots X going down to Suckfish. Raiola comes back up from the Guardian's Angel. Now he's going to work. Goes down double kill from Monkey DX. Arcus is in the back line. DT Blowfish flashes forward. He's trying to find the kill. He's unable to find it. Arcus is so low and is able to escape. Same thing for Monkey here as KT Ducky flashes under the tower looking for Luck Luck. And they do get the CC down. They find the kill onto him. And that will be a 2 for 3 in favor of Jackson High School. However, Arcus and Monkey coming right back up with the Home Guard boots. Going right over to that middle lane and we'll be seeing the side of Jackson High School back off. So even though they won out that team fight, they can't do too much with it, it looks like. They'll just have to back off to get a little bit of the gold for themselves. They'll have to regroup. Think about what they'll do next. But that was a very nice team fight coming up for them. Ryo's Guardians Angel, of course, very nicely uh, used there. And Ryolu and Shorter Race just died in backline right one for Asian SG Potato because he is 8 4 9. He is pretty much the carry right now for the side of Remington High School. Really able to uh, to dive in and take him out. However, the rest of that didn't go as well as that first starting few moments of the of the team fight there. At least two people in the end and afterwards they weren't able to push on any tower, which is probably the biggest part of the team fight, so which is after the team fight. You gotta go for the Ties, gotta go for objectives, otherwise pretty much accomplish nothing because uh, Irvington High School can always come back in here with their CC and look for a kill. But Asian SG Potato going down, that's probably very crucial in terms of these fights. Arcus almost went down, he's forced out of the fight, but didn't go down and uh, definitely allowed for Irvington to just kind of repel the mid lane push that could have came down from the side of Jackson High School. So. Things actually going on to Baron. 32 minutes in, wouldn't be too. 33 minutes in, wouldn't be too surprising to see it come down here from one of these teams, possibly after a fight, possibly to start a fight. We'll have to see what they go for. As you're moving people around, so once again, I'm coming to be a bit of slow part in this game. Seeing uh, KT Ducky finally going for a little bit of damage here. Needs a large rod coming up for him. Probably going for the Zanius or Ravnants. He might be going for the Zanius if he wants to go a little bit more tanky of course. Ravnants if he wants to disperse people down. So for the damage, Chaz actually hold on. Blowfish gets caught up by so much damage. And gets And now Remington High School is looking for the Baron as they set up on his shoulder. It's going to get right in to back up the Baron pit. He's looking for he's able to get the shot to the Baron Pyre Glass that comes out. Now his SG Potatoes trying to engage, but he gets taken out by KT Ducky. Monkey DX is on back, back line. Suckfish finds to come to Asian SG Potato. Ryulu now going again, trying to look for something. As KT Ducky is able to live as Monkey DX, and now he is on the run from three members of Jackson High School. Can he get away? Undertow catches him on the back. He gets over the wall. The Undertow shuts him down. Shorter and he picks up the kill. Ryolu, meanwhile, up top lane, he isn't able to find the kill into Arcus VD or Luck Luck. Super Mega Death Rocket will be a little bit late coming out. But the Baron stolen and three members is the Irvington down. This is going to be in the middle lane of a great 4v5 team fight coming into that one. The Baron Steel, this will be the hitter it looks like coming out for the... And that was just really, really well done by the side of Jackson High School as they go ahead and back up. Baron buff circling around them. And that was just really well played. And they'll be able to go back. He probably have quite a bit of gold to spend. About, you know, 2,000, 2,400, 1,900, 1,200, 2,000 actually for Thresh here. Suckfish has money in the bank right now. So they have to pick up the lock of the Yarn. So Zana's Iron Glass coming out from Varan. So he's looking for the defense there. 
No man, just after that team fight, this game, this game is uh, this this is anyone's game now between Irvington and Jackson High School. Doymail comes out of shorter race. He's been really diving down onto uh, onto the team of onto the team of Remington High School. So that will be a very useful item if they decide to try to throw on any damage onto him. But if they can get any, he has stacked up quite a bit of defense, obviously here with the pretty much all defense armor items. Three hundred and sixty-five armor. That's a year right there. That's a year's worth of armor coming out of all off right there. And that's uh, gonna be a very scary loss. Coming out first draft of the game, coming in for Jackson High School here as these pick as they pick it up. So this game has picked up to be Tossman of Ascension coming out of Suckfish here. So really useful for engaging, especially with you know just shorter race. Uh, Ryulu, they really rely on that mobility. Having that Talisman of Ascension really helped them kind of go for it. They're looking for a bit of a, for a brush, brush wish trap there, but unable to pull it off as uh, Irvington playing a little bit more defensively after these last few team fights. So, lands are going to get pushed up here from Jackson High School, just, you know, getting some extra gold in there before they go for, you know, the next move. But they're definitely in control of this game now. 2,000 gold ahead, two towers up. Still behind two kills, but that pretty much means nothing when you're able to hold a tower and a baron over your enemy team. So they'll be pushing down this bottom lane. It's the last tower outside of the base here for Irvington High School that they want to pick up. And they'll be pushing for this one, definitely. Middle lane is being pushed up by Super Minions. Top lane is actually being pushed right now in favor of Irvington High School. And actually, a pause will be coming out for just a second. We'll be seeing what the issue here is. Just a little bit, it looks like uh, we're seeing a little bit of lag coming out of Lots X. Hopefully they're able to get that sorted out. So, tower is getting pretty low here. I can't click on it to see how much health it has left. But it's get, it's getting low. It's getting low. Looks like they're, they're actually ready. So, we'll get this game right back underway. Very short pause. Just letting the lag go over. I don't really want to get into a game. With just a little bit of lag, so it looks like they'll go ahead and push down for this tower here, which really should be theirs. Yasuo is over mid trying to defend against the super minions, and this just allows Jackson High School to find seven towers for this for themselves. As they continue the push, actually, Ryolo using the shield to get a little bit of damage off onto this tower. Shooter is actually now taking a lot of damage. Ryulu actually goes into the back line here, but he's all by himself. Guardian's Angel is up. He's in to live for a little bit longer. Box comes up. There is Suckfish, Blowfish finds to kill into lots of X, Shorter Race is able to escape with barely any health left. As we'll be seeing the double kill coming out for Arcus. Now chasing after Blowfish and Ducky here. A triple kill for Arcus goes down though. Shut down by Blowfish. Four members of Jackson High School go down. Irvington High School able to find the win there. A little bit too much damage coming out of the tower just before the fight even happened. Ryulu went for the heavy engage and as a ribbon don't really want to do that because you take a little bit too much damage Want to get in there for the follow-up engage and uh, obviously didn't work out for him as his GA got popped up way too early came up and got taken down once again So they were able to pick up the bottom in its tower. They got some damage off onto the inhibited tower Let's see the health bar bits At about half health right there. So they really get a little bit of damage off onto that one and Oh, they didn't lose too much. Um, Irvington High School, of course, being penned in into their base because of the minion push and whatnot coming in. Unable to really push out for any ob any objectives. However, the pressure advantage that Jackson High School is able to have from that inhibitor being down to going to end right now as the red inhibitor comes back up for Irvington High School. Baron's actually up in two minutes. Might be seeing a fight around that soon. Oh, man. This game has definitely taken a turn as it's going to be 39 minutes and almost at the four, pretty much at the 40 minute mark. I don't think it's going to be ending before 39 minutes. But pretty much there, we've really been able to, uh, what is it? Jackson High School has really been able to turn this game into their favor off of a uh, not so good mid game. So coming into late game, we'll definitely have to be looking out for them here. So, Baron's up within the minute, and looks like they really want to actually uh, look for a teamfight around this area because it's uh, pretty important objectives. 
you know, Jackson High School was able to utilize that to get some advantage for themselves. And kind of the legendary North American Baranthos, I think, coming out of these two teams. Or er, coming out of Remington High School right there, losing quite a bit of their advantage to it. So we'll be having to see what they can do about it. I am just coming off Deathfire Grasp actually coming out of Lotsex. She's gone for a very bursty Malphite. And uh, not even the Tanky Malphite, he kind of diverted from that course here. He's gone for another Blasting Wand as well. Damage him. Did I say Tanky Malphite? I meant he went for a very damaging Malphite. I also seeing a little bit more damage as well coming out of Monkey DX. Went for the Trinity Force. So. Remember the Trinity Force here, has a little bit more damage there, Randuin Zone, and of course the Lost Spirit of the Ancient Golem. Looks like uh, we're going to be seeing the uh, Stark, Stark, no not Starks, it's Zeke's Herald. Starks for Race Race Season 2. Uh, we're going to be seeing the Zeke's Herald here coming out of Luck Luck, and that's, uh, that's a really good item for his team. Of course, we're seeing Yasuo, Ezreal, Vi, all going to be putting out some sort of a, uh, attack damage, uh, Dam attack damage, auto attack damage that they can use that uh, extra life steal for. We're seeing Suckfish go for a little bit more of a tanky role for his team. Of course, he has the Mikhail's Crucible to help out his team, but it's a little bit more of active instead of passive. So it's also, also gone for the giant spell there, so wants to go for, of course, some tankiness. He needs, they need a tanky in their team. They have, of course, a uh, shorter ace with the year of armor, which is a little bit of extra now. You're in a little more, I think, for Shorty Race here. Uh, just in terms of his armor buildup. However, they do need, a, you know, several tanky people in their team, and, uh... Thresh will definitely be able to use, definitely be able to build up some tankiness for himself, coming into the, uh, six item support that we're seeing a lot more now. Because gold generation has been greatly improved. He has that talisman to just continue earning gold. Eventually, it'll be overflowing for himself, and he'll just be buying, like... He'll be buying like elixirs and be like, when did I become an AD carry? Like supports never buy elixirs, who does that? Anyways, middle lane push coming out here from the side of Jackson High School. They want to reclaim that inhibitor for themselves and uh, they definitely have a very nice fast pushing team. They can take down the inhibitors uh, and towers very quickly as well. Dragon and Baron are both live though, so we might be seeing a uh, rotation over to those two areas of the map. If they want to go for it, but we have to wait a little bit. It actually looks like they are heading over to Baron, and they are actually going to be starting it up here. So Baron has been started by Jackson High School this time. And we'll see maybe Vervington can come up with a steal for their for themselves. But they are taking down this Baron pretty well so far. It's going to continue going down, but that is going to be the engage coming off. Lotex going in. Blowfish is trying to get to the back line. Gets taken up by Asian. That cheap potato box is thrown down. KT Donkey finds it comes to Lotex. GA is being popped. Ryolo coming in for the re-engage. Looking for Arcus. Double kill coming off Asian. That's cheap potato. As he's able to take them on battling with the triple kill. Now looking for Mario. Ryolo going down. That will be the kill actually going over to Arcus there. In a disastrous team fight and barren attempt for Jackson High School going down. Four members of the team down to two members of Irvington dead. However, they were able to push out their minions a little bit earlier in this game, or in this, uh, in that Baron, before that Baron attempt, so they do have some minions pushing on the base, however, your Asian SG Potato going down Bali and makes some quick work of those guys there as middle lane tower goes down to Arcus. And that was just the CC combo that we've been missing a little bit, uh, for you know, the past 10 or so minutes. Finally coming off for Irvington High School and finding themselves with a pretty dominating teamfight win. And they pick it up, and that was just really well done by Irvington there. They also pick up the dragon. So, so far in this game, the 100% team that gets banned also gets dragon right after. Fun fact. You heard it here first. High School Star League. <laughs> Able to pick up bears and dragons off of team fights. How amazing. Anyways, there is actually a Wormox army coming off here from Asian SG Potato. I haven't seen that item in a while. Going just for some pure... Health. <laughs> and the thing is though that the Warmox Army, the passive of it, it gives you more what is it? I think it's healthy gen based on this is 30 health every fight. Oh okay, I don't know what it's up. I'm pretty sure it's from your bonus health gives you more health regen, but that is literally the only item Yasuo has for health. 
So it's not as useful as you think it would be. It doesn't make him look very tanky. And oh, KT Duck is gone. He's a goner. Oh gosh, he is such a goner. Found trying to clear out... Oh no, I just realized they actually didn't pick up Baron. My statistic was wrong. Anyways, just found trying to clear out wards in the Baron pit. Ended up falling short of race. Can he get another steal? He's coming in here. Oh, unable to find it. He'll be going down most likely. And there it is, so... Okay, they pick up. They picked up Baron after. Derp. Uh, Irvington High School, able to pick up Baron a little bit after the team fight, the winning team fight that they got. <clears throat> Anyways, able to do well. So, twenty-four to thirty-one so far in favor of Jackson. And now they'll be no in favor of Irvington. And this game overall is now going in favor of Irvington. Towers are still ahead for them, but this inhibitor will be going down. Irvington able to find the first inhibitor of the game 46 minutes in. And they're actually looking for more here. Going to be diving in right out to DT Blowfish. He gets blown up. And the same goes for Ry Ryolu. And that's it. That explosive finish. That's going to be the game it looks like as the Nexus goes down. For the side of Jackson High School being picked up and taken out there. And now, I think it's like one of the first losses for Jackson High School. In the season of High School Star League so far, Irvington High School coming through after a bit of a shaky late game. Able to come back into the late, late game to pick up the victory. So, very well done by those guys there. And guys, this is the best of three. We'll be seeing more coming out of those guys. Coming out of these two teams here, Irvington High School versus Jackson High School. First game going over to Irvington. Irvington. Before we play a bit of an ad break and go into a bit more of a longer break with music and whatnot in between the games here, uh, would like to, I would like to give a shout out to our, our sponsors, Twitch, of course, putting us on the front page as well as helping us uh, do the prizing for these guys. Gunner, Jinx, as well, helping out with that. Of course, right prizing. Also helping out the High School Star League. You can check out all the information about the High School Star League as well as the Winter Championships on our website. I'm going to be throwing the link into the chat. So guys, go ahead and check it out. Some nice stuff to look at uh, while we go into this commercial break. So guys, thank you for watching and we'll be right back. <laughs> 